What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got some Destiny 2 updates and a breakdown for the weekly reset this Tuesday, November 21st. And so, we now have the final week for the season. So as always, Bungie have some words about the end of the season, things to keep in mind regarding rewards. But also this week, we'll get yet more reveals for Season of the Wish, so Bungie have given us a couple of hints about what we'll see. And otherwise, we get the final week of reset stuff for Season 22, bonus ranks available in all of the playlists. But also we'll cover the raids, dungeons, key activities and rewards for the week, as well as a couple of things worth knowing as we approach the end of the season. So as always, I hope you enjoy this one today. Before we get into it though, have you ever imagined a game where you can play as your favourite Marvel Universe heroes? Well, today's video is sponsored by Marvel Strike Force, which lets us pick up our favourite iconic characters and take them on various adventures in important Marvel locations, upgrade them and experience engaging new stories. Marvel Strike Force is a turn-based strategy game for featuring epic combat with RPG mechanics and various character synergies, and these can be explored in 5v5 battles, arena modes, events and campaign content which expands on the heroes you know and love. New characters can be unlocked through gameplay to grow your roster, including favourites like Deadpool, Captain America, Spider-Man and more, and all heroes can be powered up to unlock new upgrades and gameplay possibilities to take on various modes, featuring stunning visuals, cinematics and engaging combat in a handful of environments. Even better though, if you download the game this month using the QR code on screen or the link below, new players can get the exclusive character Gambit, as well as an extra 500 power cores and 5 premium orbs for free. But on top of that, players who use my QR code or the link in the description can also celebrate the upcoming release of the Marvels by unlocking Captain Marvel and the Miles Morales characters for free. So it's a great time to jump into Marvel Strike Force, the link is down below, and thanks to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring the video. Getting into the Destiny stuff for this week though, and firstly we are going to get more reveals for Season of the Wish, but with Thanksgiving being later on this week, there is a bit of a switch up on the normal schedule, and Bungie have said they will be back one day early due to the Thanksgiving holiday with more Season of the Wish previews, and so we should be getting that update on Wednesday. And given that folks have been asking about status updates, ability tuning, exotics, and a bunch of other stuff, the Destiny 2 team on Twitter did say, we'll talk about abilities and exotic armor changes next week. And based on that response, it would appear that we'll get info about status and the artifact perks for Season 23 as well, so be sure to stay tuned here on Wednesday and I'll keep you posted when we get that update. But otherwise, end of season approaches for Season of the Witch. And Bungie have said it concludes on November 28th at 9am PST, so players should be sure to claim all engrams from Tower Vendors and other rewards before the new season begins, and any rewards not claimed from non-seasonal vendors will be removed at the beginning of next season. So, as always, Bungie give us that warning. As we've seen in the past, not literally everything gets removed, but anything you leave behind in terms of rewards is always a bit of a gamble at least. Although most of the stuff we've left over previous seasons will probably continue to be okay. And otherwise, Season of the Wish will kick off next Tuesday. Into reset stuff for this week though, and we are going to see bonus ranks across all of the core playlists. So Vanguard, Gambit and Crucible will see bonus ranks all week long, which is cool. And as we head into Crucible, Zone Control and Mayhem will be the two featured modes. Plus we should see the return of Trials of Osiris on Friday. And then moving over to the Nightfall, this week we'll get Heist Battleground on the Moon, and the featured weapon as far as we know will be the Braytech Osprey. And so it'll be the final opportunity for a little while where we can pick that weapon up. And then heading over to Neptune, Root of Nightmares will be the featured raid this week, and so if you still need to get the Conditional Finality exotic, it'll be a good time to farm as it should be a farmable drop. And of course that'll be the same for the other items inside of the raid. But in addition to that, Spire of the Watcher will be featured as well, where we can pick up the Hierarchy of Needs exotic bow, so a couple of good farmable exotics available this week if you haven't picked them up already. But then inside of the exotic mission rotator, this week we'll see Vox Obscura featured, and so of course the Dead Messenger is available in there. If you haven't picked it up or crafted it yet, it'll be a good week to jump in, but additionally there'll be armor and weapons from Season of the Risen as additional drops inside of the activity, and as far as we know, all of these will still be available as we head into Season 23, although Bungie haven't said if they'll be adding anything new to it, so we'll simply have to wait and see. On top of that though, last week in the Eververse store it was a fairly juicy one, and so hopefully with us being at the end of the season, that'll continue this week, but I'll keep you posted with the vendor reset on Tuesday. And then for the featured Lost Sectors this week, for Tuesday's reset, we'll see K1 Revelation on the Moon dropping exotic arms, then November 22nd will be K1 Communion dropping exotic chest pieces, November 23rd will be K1 Crew Quarters dropping exotic helmets, then we'll get Concealed Void on the 24th dropping exotic legs, and that'll be followed by Bunker E15 on the 25th dropping exotic gauntlets, 
Bay of Drown Wishes on November 26th, dropping exotic chess pieces. And finally, we'll see Val's Labyrinth on November 27th, dropping exotic helmets. However, if it's the Dares of Eternity you're jumping into this week, on top of the standard loot drops, we'll get additional drops of the Scatterhorn and Lightkin armor sets, as well as some weapons from Season of the Splicer and some world drops from Forsaken. But those are additional random drops at the end of the activity. And as always, the very final thing we need to mention this week, before we probably return to the Dreaming City for Season of the Wish, is the Ascendant Challenge, and we're going to see the Shattered Ruins, which can be accessed via the Spine of Keres. So if you want to see gameplay of the location of that one this week, I'll run at the end of the video. And for the day, guys, that's what we have to round up for the final weekly reset of the season. So, a fairly chill week by the looks of things. Some more reveals for Season of the Wish, which is always nice. And of course, the opportunity to get some stuff wrapped up before the season concludes. So, let us know if you'll be playing Destiny 2 this week. But, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, a rating down below really does help us out on the channel. Also, be sure to get subscribed if you want to be kept up to date with more Destiny news. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in as always, and whatever you get up to, I hope you guys have an awesome day.